Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. knows what a Ram power wagon is. What you're looking at here is a 2500 Ram heavy duty 6.4 liter Hemi engine machine. Now this is the ultimate factory four wheel drive truck that you can purchase. It comes complete with everything. It's got the uh, winch. Let's talk about the winch in the front here. Uh, it comes with a factory 12,000 pound winch. You can see it right there. It's a very big truck, very heavy duty, three quarter ton job. Um, it's got a lot of accessories on it to make it the truck that it is. But one accessory it doesn't have that another truck has, which is the Ford Raptor, is a front view camera. Now what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take the Dodge Ram, this is a 2018 model Ram, and we are going to see if we can attempt to install a front view camera into the Dodge Ram truck which is the power wagon, the ultimate four-wheel drive machine that will go anywhere. It's built like a tank. And uh, hopefully it's going to give us some view in the front of the vehicle right here. And let us see what's going on when we go four-wheel driving. I'm not advertising for these people. If it seems like it, then, you know, I'm using them as an example of what you, all right, I'm uh, going to come down here, what you can possibly do to help you put a front view camera on your vehicle for 4x4. Now, what I'm going to show you uh, can actually apply to any four-wheel drive vehicle. It doesn't have to be the power wagon. We just happen to have that here, and that's what we're going to use for our example. Let's go ahead and get our box out. We open it up. We see that it comes with minimal instructions of how to wire this thing up. Not really, uh, you know, help savvy type deal you're gonna to have to kinda of know a little bit about what's going on here this is basically all you get on the instructions um, it basically says hook it up to 12 volt power plug and play run your wires and go down the road alright here is our dash mount um, now it does have a dash mount it has screw holes in it if you want to screw it onto something it also comes with a double sided tape adhesive where you can literally mount this to your dash and leave it on your dash. We will not be using that. Um, I actually opened this up and was playing with it. Um, this is the window suction uh, mechanism that it comes with. And you can see when I uh, actually pull it, it sucks to the windshield. But what I did, I went to a bigger, heavier duty one that I use with my video cameras. And that's what we're going to be using. It's basically the same as this. But this actually has more of movability for it where I can use it. Um, let's go ahead and look at the monitor as we're pulling it out. It comes with ample length of cord. Uh, you can see that right here. We'll go ahead and check that out. And I want you to pay close attention here. This is called a hardwire system. Uh, this has to be hardwired into your electrical system. And it does not come with one of these right here to plug and play. So that's something I didn't like about it because even the camera itself has to be hardwired into the system. Now, if you were going to use this for a backup camera, you would hook these two wires here off of your plug that goes to the little camera. Did I show you that? Very nice little camera. It's a, a flush mount camera or it comes with a bracket to screw it on. One thing I did like, I'm kind of going quickly with this, uh, it comes with a hole saw. So that's pretty unique that they would actually include a hole saw with the kit for you to drill a hole out if you want to make it flush mount. And we're going to go ahead and put that away. We might use this, I don't know, 
Um, we're not at that point in stage yet. But um, the camera does have to be hardwired in. And normally where you would hardwire that is to a backup light. So when the backup light came on, then what would happen is it would give 12 volt power to the camera, which would feed itself to the video monitor. The monitor does plug. It's a 12 prong plug. Uh, be very careful in plugging that in. You don't want to mess that up. Comes with a lot of wire for your camera, and it seems like everything hooks up uh, nice and yeah, juicy. So the problem that I'm having with this is the directions. It always seems like when you buy this stuff, they give you minimal directions. It doesn't really show you how to hook it up or what the power is, this, that, and the other. But uh, we're going to figure it out one way or the other. Um, I did notice that uh, there was uh, this wire right here. It has a red lead wire off of each one. And on the wire, it says, I don't, I don't know if I can even read that. I might need a magnifying glass. Um, I can't even read that. But uh, we're going to find out where that wire goes and hopefully hook it up. That might be a ground wire for this plug to work. I don't know. But uh, this is our lead wires that we need for our video in and out. Um, or maybe that's for an extra monitor. Uh, whatever it is, we don't know yet. This is our main wire right here that comes with the kit. And it actually says uh, it has a AV1, AV2. And um, where's our wires for our camera? Here we go right here. So we got these plugs right here. This one you definitely have to use, which plugs into your camera. And then this one here would plug into the AV1. And then once that's all hooked up and power is ran, your camera will work. So what we're going to do is we're going to temporarily hook this, these wires up and I'm going to go ahead and uh, get our monitor to work on this desk. See if we can do that. Okay, um, so we're going to push it down and then pull up and it's not going to work on our desk. This is made for glass. So we're looking like jackasses here. We'll set the monitor right there and what we're going to do is we're going to use a 12 volt battery to temporarily hook all this up and make sure everything works. Let's put our wire under here. We're going to go ahead and go like this. And our wire is now hooked up. Um, here's our camera right here. You can see that. Let's go ahead and see if we got power on our monitor. And we do have power on the monitor. And the camera is working. I want to show you that. You can see. Let me go ahead and there you go. So the camera is working. We are now looking outside at the Dodge Ram truck that we will be installing. Are we looking at that? Yes, we are. Um, it looks like it's kind of it's upside down. So we got to make sure that when we install that camera, that the camera is installed properly. So I'm looking at our little camera right here. Very nice camera that it is. And I'm asking myself, where's the best place to put that camera? And I was looking at that letter A right here, and I thought it would look pretty cool if we put it right in the center of that A. But the real deal is, is we got to have somebody here with us to actually help us um, mount the camera. Now, we could put the camera right here on our bumper, and it would be located in this area right here, which would probably be a good place. Um, I thought it would look pretty cool if it was flush mounted in that A right there in the uh, ram. Uh, and it would look pretty neat. Now, we could mount it down in here would be pretty cool. Uh, maybe possibly right here in the grill. That would look pretty nice right there. And that would actually be an easy install. And we can actually glue that into the grill itself where uh, it would fit perfect. And we wouldn't even have to drill any holes. And I think, now that I'm talking about it, I'm speculating that's probably where I'm going to mount my camera. Is I'm going to go ahead and put it right here just like that but once again we're gonna have to have somebody here to actually move the camera where we want it do you understand what I'm saying while we're looking in the monitor to place it in the proper place I don't want to put the camera back in here and then all this is covered up I want to be able to see all the way around me and I'm thinking by having the camera way in here underneath our emblem is going to um, be in the way and uh, detours from seeing anything up in the sky here. 
because once again this is a 160 degree wide angle so I mean you're catching this much space you see what I'm saying and I think this is going to be in the way if we put the camera right there all right I'm going to need your help on this all right okay so what we're going to do is um, we are mounting a camera in the front of our truck all right. now you were just mentioning something about something come on over here and explain your angle on it well since you're filming the ground is what you want to see yeah I would mount it right here but why can't I put it in the bumper if I want to because if you don't like it you'll have to buy a brand new bumper because I know how you are and it'll cost us like 2500 but I'm not gonna have to buy a brand new bumper you know you're not going to like it. Okay, can you come over here a second, please? Just like that last camera that you got. Yeah. That you did a video on that you thought was a piece of crap. Okay, can you go ahead and help me do this? Uh, what I want to do is I want you to take the camera. Now, here's the camera right here. And then I want you to place it here. I want it placed up here. And then I want you to put it, like, in the center here. Can you do that? And then possibly down low. And then that's going to tell us where we're going to mount it because we're doing this for four-wheel expedition. All right. We're going to be going expeditioning with our four-wheel drive. And then what we're going to do is we're going to look at the monitor and then I'm going to tell you where to put it. Okay. All right. So here's our monitor. We'll go ahead and turn that on. And we can see many right now. There's many. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, where is it at exactly right now? Is it in the where it was before? Put your hand on that plastic piece. Okay, I can see that plastic. I don't like it there. Can you put it on the bumper for me? Pull the camera out and put it on, but you got to keep it straight just like it is. So pull it out and put it. Okay, where is it now? That's on the bumper. So that's on the bumper. Okay, put it down under the license plate where you think it should be. Is that down under the light? Can you move your leg, please? Okay, so that's under the bumper. So that's the license plate bracket. Put it back on the bumper slowly. Okay, we didn't really go up that high, much higher. Okay, now you're moving it around. There you go. All right, now where is that at? That's in the middle of the bumper. Where I said I might want to put it. Okay, now if you go back down under the license. How about right here? No, that didn't do anything. You need to turn the camera the other way. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, right there. That's straight. Okay, so now. How does it look right there? That looks pretty good. Where is that at? The bumper. That's on the bumper? That's on top of the bumper, on top of the license plate holder. Okay, that's on the license plate holder on top of the on bumper. Top of the license plate. Okay, the problem we're going to have putting it on the license plate is if we hit a rock or something, it'll rip the license plate off. No, this is on. You can hook it. There's. There's the bumper showing right there. I think you could put it on the bumper itself. Depending on how you're doing it. All right, mounting. what are you talking about? Oops. Okay, hold on. You're going to break my camera. Okay, this is the problem you have mounting it there. Look what we got. We got a winch that it's going to be dragging in here if we have to use it. I don't want to put it there. So if you go up to here one more time with it, let's check it out. Put it right there. Okay, put it right there. Okay, now move your hand. Let's go ahead and see what that angle looks like right there. Okay, so I kind of like that. Now put it down um, on the bottom of the license plate slowly. That really didn't make any difference. It's exactly almost the same view. Okay, I can see your leg. All right, put it back where the bumper is again. I think that's where we're going to go. Then we're going to go ahead and use our hole saw and drill that out. And we're going to mount the camera right there in the bumper. That's a really good spot for it. I like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our hole saw that comes with our kit. We will drill the hole into our bumper and then install our camera into the bumper itself. drill that comes with your kit does not work <sighs> okay uh, what you just witnessed is the hole saw that comes with your drill does not work 
or should I say with the kit, does not work with your drill and is probably, probably not even made for metal. It's more made for uh, plastic. All right, so this is what we started out with. Uh, I had to run over to the store and get that. Uh, that was a $10 item. It's a three quarter inch. Let's go ahead and check out our camera. We're gonna go ahead and unplug it all and we're gonna run it into the hole where we're gonna put our camera and see what it looks like. See if that's gonna work for us. And it looks like once I push it in there, it will be where I want it to be. This is what we want right here. Um, and that's where our camera's gonna stay. Let me go ahead and wire this thing up. I'm gonna run the wires up into the grill, around by the side. We'll put them into the dash and run them up through the trim of the truck and we'll get it all installed and we'll come back and see what it looks like as a finished product. And right there. Wow. Okay, here we are out in Moab, Utah. We got our 4x4 camera hooked up. You can see we've been doing some heavy duty four wheel driving, some extreme mountain biking. We ain't messing around out here. So we're actually down in the Dead Horse Canyon. Um, and we've been doing some extreme off-roading. You can see that this is side-by-side -side action right here. Uh, what's going on up there. But if you look right here, we got the big power wagon three-quarter ton diesel Dodge. No, it's not a diesel. It's a 6.4 liter Hemi. But uh, we went ahead and installed the camera on the front end. There it is right there. You can see it. You saw how we did it. And then what I did, um, I mounted my monitor actually on the rear view mirror right here. And we're going to get inside the truck. We're going to take a little gander and see how all this is working. All right, so um, the way that I did all this, if you remember, I went ahead and wired that up so that hard wire's right here. And I was going to put the monitor right here, but it was actually in the view of what I was going on up here. And I think it's more important to see your full windshield. And this is the problem I have with the pile 7 incher. That's basically the problem. It's 7 inches. Um, it takes up a lot of view on your windshield, and you're going to have to find other places to actually put it. So uh, let's go on the trail. I'm not going to do this with my camera too long. This is an easy little trail here. So we're going to go through that. So just to give you a little action of what it's going to look like. Now one other thing I don't like about the camera action on the pile um, is that the resolution isn't really that good. Now I don't know if it's because we're like you know in real super bright area but we have adjusted it to the best we could. So let's go ahead and just go down a little bit just so you can see what kind of action you're getting with your camera on the front of the vehicle using the seven inch monitor. So you can see right here that you can see everything in front of you very, very well. It works good. It's an option that you might want to um, endure on putting on your four wheel drive vehicle, not just the power wagon, but any vehicle that might need a front camera um, off and on time and time again. I think it's a good investment for $57. Once again, the only thing I don't like is the size of the monitor and the resolution. Um, as far as the lines go, you can't take the lines out. The lines are permanently built in. Now, if we can find a different monitor that actually plugs into this cable, we will use it. So. That is our review. We got four wheel driving to do. If you like this idea, do it. We got the monitor, it's hooked up, um, and it's, it's a good deal if you need it. Now what I've been doing is, so it doesn't distract me from driving, I'm actually turning it off when I don't need it. And then when I get to a certain point that um, I can't see or whatever, then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn it on and uh, we gotta go. Take it easy. And we are four wheel driving in Moab, Utah. Are we real close to that edge there? Well, we were. We're okay. moved away from it now. But All right, we gotta get down the road here. Hello. But hug the wall. Oh, 
Okay, let's get down the road and do some four wheel driving in the power wagon ramp and have some fun. I got my monitor in case I need it. We'll see you later. My friend Pete, your friend Pete, doing a review on an item that I paid for. They didn't send it to me for free. Uh, there's different brands of, out there that you can buy, but it's actually a good idea and it doesn't take long to hook up. We gotta go. Turn it off. We gotta go. We got to go.